Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to create a custom combo box in Power Apps. Uh, first, uh, we can start. Actually, there is uh, more than one way to create custom combo box. Uh, I will show you two different ways. And firstly, uh, we can add a, a one combo box. And there is some samples. Uh, and I have a, a SharePoint list. And firstly, uh, I I need to add my list here. Yes, SharePoint list, and uh, my list name is animals here. So my connection is here, and I will write here my list name. Yes. Now I can't see anything because I need to edit my fields and primary text is not this one. A primary text is title, should be title. And yes, I, I have some animal names and here I can see. Uh, and But in, in this SharePoint list, uh, I have these animals icons and I want to show, show them here. But uh, in single view, I can't. I can't show uh, the animals icons and in double view also I can't show but in person view there is you can see there is a picture area and I can I can show my pictures or my my icons in this area and I need to show this view uh, and uh, there is some primary text secondary text and search field I'm not uh, we, we we won't use the search field in this video but uh, maybe uh, I can show some examples about search field. It's a basic uh, feature. And a primary text, as you can see, we will see here first primary text and secondary text. Uh, we will see some, uh, you know, some address, and it it is the uh, icons address actually. Is a secondary text. Uh, I can click the um, maybe maybe compliance access ID. Yes, here. Yes, now I can't see anything because it is a blank area and I, I just see my animals names but I want to see also the animals images. To show animals icon first I need to edit items area and I need to use uh, add columns function here. Add columns, yes, uh, I will use animals list as a source. And I need to use create new column here and its names will be icon. And now I need to uh, specify my icons um, where, where is there actually. I need to specify here and I will write here my, my SharePoint sites um, URL here. And it's my SharePoint site and you can create a new document library in SharePoint sites. and. Uh, you should uh, my my document library's name is animals images and there is there is the images in, in this library in this document library just there is images and the images names will be the exact the same with the uh, animals names in, in animals list and because we will we will hear you will write the is um oh, this will be and here and we will write here now this record title. It means the animals names. And here I need to write my uh, pictures or images or icons extant here. And mine was uh, SVG. I write here. And now uh, one more one more step here. Uh, you should uh, you should write display fields. Uh, your your new uh, columns here uh, it, it will it won't be a came uh, default just it will it first first you saw it will be just like that and because we, we just used here title and complaints assist ID and they will come here uh, we need to write our new, new, new created columns here and I need to write here icon and as you can see, my uh, animals icons came. 
And if you want larger or smaller icons, you can find the size according to uh, icons. And you can also resize your uh, animal names or whatever it is, uh, their sizes. And you can equalize there uh, about size. And here, uh, where was there? Ah, here, font size. If you can. I, I I write ten here, and as you can see, the uh, names animals names became smaller, but it is okay for me. And uh, in this way, you can add your icons in the in your uh, combo box. And there is uh, another way. It is actually it is the simplest way to add icons in combo boxes. And I will show you here the another way. The another way is actually it is a um, full co custom combo box. You can you, you create uh, own you create your own combo box here, and we can we can use for that one one button, and I need one uh, gallery actually. You will see why I I use gallery, but I need blank vertical gallery here. And yes, we need gallery and button because uh, we will create a fully cu custom drop down menu. Not not drop down combo box actually. We need uh, we need uh, we need create it fully custom. And because I will use this button as a this area, and I will use my gallery as a this uh, opening area. Because uh, if you want to uh, more than one uh, information here in this drop down uh, opening area, you can do this with this uh, this uh, combo box. You need to use this this kind of combo box, and you need to create your own. And firstly, we need to clear here and here. Yes, this kind of color. And uh, in this in this gallery, I will show my animals list, and I need I need to add a label for to show my animals names, and I need to insert a um, not here yes media. I need to insert the image to show my animals image. Yes, as you can see. I need to make smaller. Yes, it should not be bigger than this because it not seems um, lolly or it not seems to. Uh, if if it is bigger, not seems pretty. And yes, it's enough actually. And here, uh, firstly, I need to use, of course, uh, uh, I need to use, of course, one variable to, to open and close my gallery. And maybe I can make uh, or I can extend my gallery a bit to show all my animals. And yes, I need to now, uh, I need a variable to show or hide my gallery. And uh, in this, actually, First, uh, before that, before that, I need to add the icon, and it should be down. Yes, this kind of icon. Yes, it is just about the view. Yes. Okay, a bit left. Yes, it's okay now. And also uh, now now I I can create a variable and I need to I need to create it uh, on select my 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 buttons on select and I can use update context or set uh, as you know update context is a context variable and it is if you if you if I use update context it will be just I can use just this. A variable in this page 
But if I if I use set uh, to to create a variable, I will use this variable all of the project. It's the difference between uh, set and update context. But now I can use update context because uh, I just use uh, the my variable in in this page. I can create here update context and my variable's name maybe show hide gallery so white call I can write and first it should be false but <clears throat> but uh, I I I need to here here I need to uh, define it it define it's the page on visible because uh, in when I came this page I I I expect that uh, this gallery uh, shouldn't seen and firstly it it, uh, it won't be seen and when I select when I uh, click here it will be shown then I came here and I I write here true because when I click here I will show my gallery and now I need to keep my gallery's visible property and it should be it should be uh, my my variable's name. What was it? Yes, here show height gallery. And now, as you can see, the, it is gone. If I click here, yes, it came. But uh, if I click again, I I need to go here, go the gallery, and uh, uh, for that, I I need to write here if. If my variable, if my variable is true, if I write here anything, the proverb says it's true. It's true. If it is the same, actually, it is the same. If I write here like that, if uh, if show height call uh, variable uh, is equal to true means equals to here. If I want anything, it, it the proverb says. Uh, like that uh, it's true true value and if it is true update context uh, show height call true if it's true I want to I want to uh, make it false otherwise if it, it is it, it was the true value I need to write here as value and it should be true here so now you can check and as you can see it's working, but if I click this icon, it's not working because I just said it's uh, the buttons on select property. I need to also adjust uh, for the icons on select property. It is the, it should be same actually. I need to copy here and paste here. Now, if I click here or here, it is the same. Okay, now I can. I can give the, this gallery is a, a fill color. Now I need to uh, in in this area. If I click the frog, I will sh I will I will see here, and I need to I need to place a text here. And I have my buttons text area. I can use it to show which which one is selected. And here I will show this gallery is where is it now. Uh, this color is selected item. I need to show it here. And in text area, I can write my gallery's name and selected item and the selected title. Yes, as you can see, I can I can make this uh, colors black. Yes, and I can uh, change this. Um, Replace replace the location, and it should be some left. Yes, and I can uh, give a padding. Just twenty five. Maybe it's yes. It's okay now. Which one is selected here? Yes, as you can see, I can show here the selected item. But uh, I need to one more property. If I click one item. Uh, the gallery uh, will be will be uh, invisible because it it should be like something like that. And but uh, in this actually in this area, 
uh, it is not uh, closing after clicking because in there is a property allow multiple selection if I click here I, 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 need, I need to make this off and now yes if I click and it's closing I need to this property and I came here I need one more property it should be on select yes but um, yes it should be on select and I need to write here this actually I can copy here I can copy here I need to make false my variable and I came here again I paste it now we can see I click and it's closing I click open and close here yes maybe it's sometimes uh, it shouldn't be useful actually it's all about your requirements uh, if you if you need something like that there is one icon and one text or two text area you can use also here two text area maybe gain title yes you can hear something different and if you need something like that one icon or one image and two text area you can use uh, this uh, this combo box and uh, you can adjust the icons or pictures photos uh, in in the source uh, you can upload uh, the size uh, which size if you want which size you want you can upload as this size and you can see here this icons uh, bigger or smaller and but if you need something different different than this combo box maybe you need a three text area here or two a two icon or two image here you you, you should use this kind of combo box it is fully uh, handmade <laughs> maybe we can say fully handmade combo box and you can use here a uh, uh, a lot of uh, text area or a lot of images here if you want something uh, like that you can use yes this kind of things maybe you need something like that or something like that it's more uh, customizable here because it's the gallery you you can uh, you can um, use a lot of things for gallery you can use a lot of place and you can use different things for gallery as you can see here we use gallery and one use a one gallery and one bottom to create combo box and it's more customizable as you can see now and it's not too hard to create this or this one it's uh, up to your um, requirement actually in this video we will see how to put the icon in a combo box uh, as you can see there is two way to uh, create a custom uh, combo box uh, i try to tell you tell you about this that's all i have to say today i hope they will be useful for you see you in next video